Hey everyone, and welcome back to uh, Rain in the Realms of Arcania. Let me see if I can get some food. Find, well, cannot find water, cannot find any animals. Uh huh. Let's uh, try Torfin. At least he finds water. We have. But we also have uh, some food available. Let's just go to sleep. It's early in the morning. But you know what? 20 hours of sleep is just fine. Yeah, and I'm north of the... Yeah, that's great. I'm actually north of the... Of the... Uh, of the swamp. And of the... What is that? Uh, the dark swelled river. You remember the bridge was broken there. So let's go to Gashok. Um, yeah. Have a quick break. Open finds water. I'm not gonna go for any herbs here. Just wanna get to Gashok real, real quick. To make sure that we find our friends. So, I don't find any animals, but that's, again, that's fine. Um, you know what? Why don't you go for two hours and look for some herbs? I've got a tarnal. And then we can sleep for seven hours. Oh, Alric is not feeling good. That's something that uh, Kaya has to have a look at in the evening. She's not sick. And that is good. Either way, so wait a second. Let's let's make it this way. I mean, Torfin is kind of the leader anyway, right? So when the other two are not around, then he probably will assume some leadership. Uh, bup, 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 bup. So you will treat your disease on Alric. Uh, we do have plenty of that. And uh, he is Gulls, is Skull Skull. Yeah, yeah. Very well done, Kaya. Very well done. So how about, Arbush, you try to find some food. You can hunt something edible. And we have the magic water skin. So that's good. That's fine. Let's uh, sleep. Oh, God. What do we get? What we get? Aventurians. So what what do they wield? That's close combat shit. This one as well. So they are basically all um, going for close combat. If I retreat Alric back here, they should all be going for the rest of the party. Oh, hang on. Did I check if there's more of them? There isn't. And I do the same with Kaya. Yeah, see, they are focusing now on Arbush and on Torfin, except this guy, but that's fine. Kaya has enough energy to cast a Be My Friend on him. So, Torfin and Arbash are in perfect position. Hmm, maybe not to uh, do a really good attack on this guy, but good enough, good enough. There was plenty of damage. And you, I'm sorry to say, dude, Bam you're gonna help us. And I'm your <laughs> Perry Blunder with Arbush, that's fine. I don't see a reason to use more magic against these guys. Uh, they are not particularly dangerous. They're just dickheads. <laughs> so that guy is dead. Minus 14, very good. 
Good hit, Torfin. Good hit. Yeah, so you will save your energy for now. Same goes for you. And you can hit these guys all you want. It will not change the fact that you're about to lose. Torfin and Arbosh are just a killer team. I, I so like these two guys. And once when Arbosh is a dragon slayer and he returns home, he will probably... He will probably uh, have no problems finding a wife and all the fame that he needs. I break every single bone of yours. Yeah. Toffin already has all the women he needs. So, these two are good. Welcome to Boron's Empire. 13 damage. Nice, nice. Yeah, so Arbush will go around. Oh, I, oh, he can't. That's actually blocked. All right, so we're gonna skip that attack. That's just fine. These two kill each other. Welcome to Boris. You repeat Empire. your action from last time. Very nice. They're really killing each other. Oh, she parried. So... She parried twice? That doesn't make sense. Oh, maybe it was a switch in the wrong... Into the intestines. Yeah. And she couldn't parry the, the last action. So, he cannot attack me, but he still counts as an enemy. So... In that way. Now, he's not my friend anymore. <laughs> but he did his job. And now he's dead. That's kind of cruel. But neither Shireen nor Vindariel are around to complain. I will pick up all items, by the way. I need to make a little bit of money at least. And I finally reached Gashok. I'm so broke, as far as I remember. And I need to buy a net. All right, so let's have a look then, shall we? There's the smith. I need to get here. Or there. So let's head to the center of town. There's the smith, a tavern, and there's the marketplace. And it is my lucky day. Oh, it is closed. They're just standing there for decoration. Okay, that is fine. Um, we still have general goods. Paul, whatever his name is. In this house here. Let's see what he got. He, he's got a net. So that is... That's sad, right? Definitely getting this one. Now the big question is, what do I get for this? Um, Around two silver pieces. Yeah, that's the value there. I think that's one of the core problems. Um, that's spider bite here, right? What actually does it do? One of the oldest weapons for fighting and manhunt. Long wooden pole, blah 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 blah. Just does a lot of damage. Hmm. Oh, it's a common weapon. It's not even... It's not even a magic weapon. I will keep the torches, because it, somehow you need pole torches in this game. And you never seem to have one when you need them. So... I will keep the crystal ball. Um, so I get what, like what, one ducat? Oh boy, I have 57 in total only. Um, sell the broomstick, I don't think I'm gonna need it. I, 
I would like to keep this one. Then again, what for? I don't really have anyone who could use that. So, off you go. I have the Mage's Rapier. Could sell that. But I'm gonna keep it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's quite enough. Maybe this. I could sell these, but I don't get a lot for it. So let's start with fifty percent more, which would give me four ducats. Uh, three. Yeah. Okay. So I got the net. And now I will spend like one or two nights in Gashok. The twelve be with you. Um let's go with single rooms. And how many tar nails do I have? Okay. You get one. Actually, Torfin doesn't need one. He's fully regenerated. So y you eat one. You eat one. And you eat one. And then we're going to have a very, very long sleep. 18 hours. Let's see how that turns out in the regeneration. Oh, look at this. Torfin is sick? Well, that certainly is not good. Let's do that again. Go up to the rooms. Uh-uh. First of all... Kaya will... treat diseases... on Torfin. She was able to do that. Now I have one turn left. And uh, she'll eat it herself. Yeah. I figured, you know, while Auric does a lot of damage, I can do a lot of damage with these too. But she's the only person who can make people not attack. And that's the reason why I want her to be on as high energy as possible. So let's do this. Good day. Yeah, very good. Look at this. That is really good. So I'm back at 40 and 39. That certainly is going to help. Plus I do have... I do have the net now. So let's go here. I should have checked for new boots. But you know what? I can do that later. Can I though? So Torfin, he does find water but nothing to eat. How much food do I have left? Eight packages of food. Okay. So let's sleep then. No battle. I do like it when I don't have battle to do in the night. Especially when I'm so down on resources. Another night. So, Arbush. No animals, huh? Nine hours of sleep and no battle. Good. So, I can now go and. Oh. Cannot enter the swamp from here? From here? That's quite interesting, isn't it? Well, so I have to go there. That means another night. Yeah. No animals found. Okay, nine hours of sleep, no battle.
Can we daringly enter the swamp? Oh, that is... Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Unity engine! Very funny. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, you know what? I have to go... Like here. There's the Renzi. So, let me just... Swim there directly. Since I cannot really drown, apparently. I think that was differently in the original game. Either that or my people are just really good at swimming. I don't know. Oh well, you can op apparently really drown. I just lost some life energy. Like two points? Yeah. So you do lose some energy when you do not get the, the swimming roll done. That is certainly interesting. So let's see if we can... If we can get... Ah, there you go. I certainly don't have to make swimming rolls here. Now I just have to make sure... That I still reach the swamp brandy. Who's got the net? Torfin has. I don't have any any equipment to spare at all. In case I ever find that dude. Or as we kind of already have guessed retransform him because the swamp rancy is not a swamp rancy it would attack otherwise right so yeah the swamp rancy is in fact mr dragonfeld the guy whom we need to bring uh to oh boy The guy whom we need to bring to Lobang. And then we can leave the city. The cool thing in the original game was uh, you could then supply the city with weapons, traveling Gashok back and forth, right? And just bring a lot of weapons in there. But I don't have the feeling that uh, in, the, in this version I will be able to earn money with that route. Because the, the prices, even in low one, just suck. So where is it? Now oh, we're closing in. There you go. So he, he's here somewhere. There you go. Use an item, the net. The Renzi gets helplessly tangled in the net and unable to move within seconds. As you approach it, you recognize something really odd about this quite peaceful specimen. It wears a ring on one hand, shaped the head of a dragon. Do you want to take the tied up animal with you? Beat it to death or let it go. I uh, will take the tied up animal with me. There you go. Quest update for Arkton Dragonfeld. I'm surprised it is not even, not really named Arctan Dragonfeld. So let me give this to Alric. And now I want to head back where the Heather was. I guess that was somewhere here. Right over there. So, pull one off the ground to examine it more closely. Yes, let's do that. I think there's magic involved, says Kaya. 
Do you want to cast uh, uh, an Odom? Um, I can cast an Analytica spell. Arik is really good at it. He's got it at 12. So yeah, go ahead. Arik walks between the Heather's shrubs and touches each one of them. He suddenly pauses, focuses and says quietly, Analyze Arcan's structure. Expose the magic's nature. While he is investigating the Heather, he casually says, Will you look at that? The Saturian spell was used to bind the creature to it. He looks at Ulrich. The swamp rancy that you have with you is that creature. Here, it is the 13th Heather Shrub. Oh, really? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Suddenly, the Rancy you are carrying gives a single loud howl and then goes all slack. Now, I do have the Heather, I do have the Rancy, and I do have the Nox Trucks document. So, how about we use that? In front of your aghast eyes, the animal turns into a young, slim, frighteningly gaunt man with chopped lips. He wears a dragon ring on his finger. There you go! If he were a bit better nourished and somewhat cleaner, the description of uh, you got of Dragonfeld and Lovang would fit him. The man opens his eyes for a moment before dropping off again into a deep feverish unconsciousness. Alright, so this guy is really fucked up. He's got his ring. I should have brought clothes for him, shouldn't I? So that certainly was not the best choice. Uh-huh. We can give him this. And this. So at least he has got something to wear. But the only person who's got a rope right now and it's not being displayed even. So wait a sec. Let me pause the game for a second and go to um, go to camp. So let's have a look at these guys' skills. Um, treat wounds is terrible on all of them. So I could give him a couple of hit points using Balm of Healing. I also do have this one, Masterful Healing Potion, that we would, re you know, refuel him completely. Can he, can we feed him with that? He's incapacitated, yeah, that's what I figured. Um, we need to leave. Uh, we need to get back to Lovang really, really, really fast. Hang on, what does the journal say? The journal. Uh, search for Akdan Dragonfeld. Turned into a man? We, he was almost totally nude, wearing only the ring and shape of the dragon. Seems like we have found Akdan Dragonfeld. And now we just have to bring him back. So, this is north. And we have to leave here. Does that make sense? No, we have to leave here. On the exact opposite side of the swamp. 
Now, will you look at that and be amazed that I already made sure that I don't have to fight anymore. With that guy in the group, without any armor and stuff, that would have been really bad. Um, hmm. So, hang on. One more time. I have to go here or here? Ugh, my orientation. I'm completely running into the wrong direction. No, I'm not. I have to run here. So that means I have to... Yeah, yeah, because that thing turns with me. I have to run to the southeast corner of the swamp. Okay. So southeast corner is like this direction. I have to avoid swimming because if he takes any more damage, he's gonna die. And I just hope I don't run into any... Kaya finds some Belmart. Nice. Let's take that. Hang on, where am I? Um, yeah, that's kind of correct. So I'm following this. Then take the first turn to the right. Oh, that was... I can only move slowly here. Yeah, I want to get to the ruins. And then here? And then up there. That's kind of the plan right now. Let's see if I can, you know, go through with it. It would be great if I can leave the swamp in this episode. It might run a little over, though. But hey... Just look at what we accomplished in the last couple of episodes, right? I mean, Lovang was absolutely no joke. Those battles were pretty hard. Um, then we had the battles here in the swamp, which were really hard. I mean, really, that was... The one against the... or what, what was around the mage was relatively easy. But um, the one we had against the witch... Wow, that was just, that was just really wow. So I need to go here. And then basically around the village. Yeah, like there first to the right. be able to make it out. And from here, just south, I have no way, idea where we will get out of this. But that's fine. Let me jump on this. And then all the way just double checking that I have the right direction yeah yeah yeah, yeah.
And I'm fairly certain that somewhere, someone is like, Storio, you're, you're, you're an idiot because there was a net if you would have just gone there and there. I'm fairly certain there is. There usually is one of those guys. Just need to frequently double check that I'm at the right point in the swamp and heading for the right direction. This thing is so big. So, yeah. I guess we're heading for the exit. And... Hang on, what? Why do I see treacherous swamp in front of me? I wanted to get out. And I can't go out here? Now wait a second. That's a legitimate exit. Dude. Okay, so it's basically an exit that you cannot use twice. So, this one then? Or one of these? No, these were the ones where I came in. So, uh, probably that one then. Alright. So, all the way back then. Man, this swamp. I'm just happy when it's behind me and I don't have to enter it ever again. I never brought my players into the swamp in the pen and paper game. I don't think they would have liked it very much. Yeah, I know, I cannot move that fast in the dense vegetation. Ugh. Can we leave the dense vegetation then? Thank you. So, where to go? A little bit back. The fun thing is that I actually know a swamp that has this kind of um, bridgeways where I grew up. There was a huge uh, reed area and uh, we had these kind of, of uh, wooden path through it. And we, we were there every now and then, you know, just for, for hiking and stuff. was actually fun. Very, very naturey, which is something I can admire. All right? Nearly there. Uh-uh. Just be careful not to fall into the water. That could be deadly for Arkdan. Oh, there's the cart, by the way. Let me take... You know what? take the food and the weapons but it didn't have a net so let's leave the swamp finally I got three tunnels that's something so I'm here let's have a break and let's have a break in the video I hope you liked the rescue of Sir Akdan Dragonfeld we're now heading back to uh, Lovang which we hopefully will reach in the next episode. I hope you liked this one, and if you did, please hit the thumbs up button, and I see you next time. Until then, I'm Stordier. Bye.